The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Hey guys, Leo Moki here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Hat Was the Reincarnation of Noctis. This is part 7. In the last part, All Might confronted Izuku and see if he was relate, if he had some connection to All for One, but realized that he's just somebody with a pure heart and a powerful, and is truly powerful. Not only that, Izuku convinced All Might to give one for all to Shoto instead. And with that said, let's get into this. Right after that eventful day, Izuku, Izuku went on went on a went on went on afternoon date with Ochako, and the two of them just got to spend time together. They went to a little cafe. They actually went to a little cafe that they. That Izuku went goes to from time to time after he trains, which she enjoys a lot. After that, the two of them also went to see a movie. Then Izuku walked Ochako to the train state to the train station and see her off. And soon saying, "You sure you don't want me to walk you all the way back to your place? I mean, there's still villains mostly come out there in the night." And she's saying, don't worry, I can handle myself. Besides, train station is kind of nearer to my place anyway. As Hizuku saying, all right, if you say so. And just be safe. I don't want to lose you again. As Hizuku feels a little bit down. As soon after, Ochako kisses him on the cheek saying, I'm not going anywhere, I promise. Soon after her train arrives, she gets on and waves at Izuku, and Izuku waves back. The next day, Izuku waited at the train station for her, and where Kirishima, Kaminari, and Shoto also waited as well, because they didn't want to leave their best friend behind, with Ochako finally arriving, and the two walking together. As... Kaminari says, man, I f I'm so jealous of, of Izuku already having a girlfriend early, starting pretty early in the year. Lucky, d lucky dude. As Kirishima says, I mean, yeah, that's pretty true. But to be honest, I think he deserves it. I just don't know why, but I feel like the guy has been through quite a bit. And if anything has... Need, and I need, and think he needs somebody to help him out. As Shoto saying, "Hmm, I believe you're right as well." As soon after, Kirishima asks, "Hey, Shoto, how's one for all doing? I know All Might gave it to you right out, right after we left." As Shoto saying, "I haven't felt any different yet. I think it's because I just got it. But I'll let you know what goes on." As Kirishima says, well, you better, dude. I mean, you got one of the quirks of the number one hero. The very hero you were supposed to defeat. I mean, I wonder how your dad's going to react when he finds out you're, his per you're a successor now. As after hearing this, Shoto soon stops and Kirishima says, dude, did you not know what you just said? As Kamenai said, oh, Christ. I'm sorry, Todoroki, I didn't mean... As Shoto saying, I still haven't told him, and I hope not to, as All Might told me not to tell him what ha as All my successor. However, even if he does find out, I don't care. All Might has chosen me to be a successor and believes in me. If anything, Midoriya believes in me. So... I won't let both of them down. They've given me this chance, and I won't let it go to waste. After that, 
that both Kaminari and Sh- and Kirishima smile as Kirishima says, "That's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. That's the will of a man. Let's go." As he soon catches up with both, well, Izuku and Ochako, as Kaminari says, "Hey, wait for me." Soon after, Shoto also catches up with them as well. Right after arriving to class, they begin wondering about the well reporters that they went past that they went past during the entrance. As they thanks to Aizawa's interference that they were able to get through. As Kaminari thinks, well, maybe she could I just hope that any of us end up on TV. Soon after, Jiro soon saying, That's not gonna happen. They're only here for interviews about All Might. And that's it. As Izuki saying, ditto. There's no way they would want coverage of a blonde haired kid that looks like he that looks like he sucks at almost every test that he takes. As Kaminari saying, Dude, Izuku, what the hell, man? Come on, that's pretty rough. As Shoto soon says, You're not really good at studying, you know that, right, Kaminari? As saying, Not you too, Shoto. As, what is this, peck on Denki Day? As everyone begins laughing, with Aizawa soon arriving, and telling them that they need to focus on something important that will change, that will change nearing. As everyone begins freaking out, wondering what it's going to be, another practice exam. As he's saying, need to choose a class rep. As they begin feeling less down and just and all of them saying just regular school stuff. Soon after, everyone votes votes for themselves to be class rep. With Izuku, you know, thinking it would be good at being class rep, but I feel like a couple people in here would be better, especially Ida. He seems like the class. He seems like the class rep responsible type, to be honest. Even though Izuku is a reincarnation of Noctis, who has the experience of all the of all the past kings, he still thinks that there are still people more worthy than him to lead until he feels well truly comfortable to be a real leader, even though that's his dream of becoming the the next number one hero after all. As soon after Ida says I think we should all put it to a vote. We can't just vote for ourselves. As Izuki saying, I agree. Let's put this all to a vote and see who chooses who. At a couple minutes later, the one, the one who won vote to be well class one, class one A's rep is well Izuku, and number two being well Shoto. As Bakugo gales, okay, who the hell voted for the damn nerd? As Kaminari soon says, what, you expected us to vote for you, Bakugo? I mean, come on, man. As Sero soon says the same thing, yeah, that's seeing on how you kind of acted during the, during the, well, combat test, it was pretty obvious who to choose. As Shoto feeling, do I really need to be vice rep? As Izuki saying, "Come on, Shoto, you got this, man. I'll, I'll back you up. And knowing you got my back is just, it's just as great." As soon after, as I was saying, "All right, then, you, you chosen your reps." So soon after, cl- cl- class takes a break and lunch begins, with Izuki actually being up, is being pretty confident about being class rep being class rep this time and because this is exactly what he wants as Ochako congratulates him for that with uh, with Shoto still feeling uneasy think if he's worthy for the position at that Ida soon says I think the but you won the vote fair and square Todoroki you should be proud of yourself as Shoto saying Ida uh Thanks, I appreciate it. As Kirishima also saying, "Yeah, man, I have more faith in you. I voted from, I actually mostly voted for Midoriya, but if I had to, I would have chosen you too, Shoto." As also Kaminari saying, "Yeah, if any, 
I did. I also voted for Shizuku as well. But to be honest, wouldn't be surprised that people would vote for you. You do got that kind of number t second in command vibe. If I'm gonna be honest, as Hizuki says, so it isn't just me. Oh, I was, I was thinking that it was well. As Shoto saying, okay, now I feel like you're you all are just messing with me. After that, they all just laugh until the alarms soon go off. Being as they're wondering what's going on, even as they realize that it means like a villain attack or somebody has gone on to the premises of the school as a third year tells them that this has never happened before, not in UA's history, as everyone begins freaking out and trying to head to the nearest exits. As Izuku thinks, this is insane. Like how there be a villain attack? This is UA for Christ's sakes. As he soon smother across the window alongside Shoto, as they both look down and see that it's actually the media that act that got through the gates, realizing that it's not a villain attack. Izuku decides to bring out his well broadsword and warps t and throws it as far as he can to the entrance. And soon after he makes it down he makes it to there and is basically hanging on his sword as he tells everyone to calm down that it isn't a villain attack, that it's just the media. There's no need to panic. As everyone hears this, they begin starting to feel less, well, less, well, panicky and freaking out and start to calmly go through the exit in a more rashly manner. As everybody goes through and the only people left being Izuku's friends, he soon pulls his sword out and drops back down. As he's saying, well, that's solved. As Ochako saying, you did it, Izuku. That was amazing. As she asks, how did you know it was just the media? As he realized, eh, it could have been a villain attack. It was too, I mean, UA has, has a couple of the best heroes here. Not only that, the security system is supposed to be indestructible. The only heroes that could probably destroy it would probably be All Might, Endeavor, maybe even Hawks or somewhat. But to be honest, any other villain would be stupid enough to attack UA. After that, soon after everyone, classes go as usual and to, for Izuku to switch out his position to Ida basically doesn't happen. So that doesn't However, he does feel like something was going on and wonders why the hell would the why the security doors would be destroyed so easily and how the report and how the media and all those reporters got in. Before he heads back to class, he head, he talks to Principal Nezu and Aizawa about what he about what he thinks. It, it's only just a hunch that maybe what happened yet what happened this afternoon wasn't an accident. Probably somebody planned for this to in from the beginning. As Aizawa was saying, what do you why do you think this? Just check out the gate. That's all I'm asking. It please, as Principal Nezu is saying, of course, it's at least, we can at least look into this situation and make sure something like this doesn't happen again. As Izuku saying, thank you. Well, excuse me, sir. I have support class to get to. As he exits the room and heads to the support course. As right after, per, he, as he enters the support course room, P Power Lord says, Ah, Doria, I just wanted to tell you some good news. Your support items have been approved for your classmates to use and prototype. So if you care, if you want... You can call him in right after classes are done. As Izuku says, thank you, Mr. Power Loader. And he also goes, hey, Hatsume, can I ask you for a favor? As she's saying, sure, Midoriya, what do you need? As Izuku asks Hatsume to see if she has any support items that could be useful for Kaminari and for his quirks so that he doesn't have to, well, fry his brain in the process. As she's saying, I'll see what I can 
see what I can look in my pile. As Izuku look, sees her rummaging through a giant pile of discarded support items, as she real as Izuku realizes, damn, even though I'm gone, even though I'm gone for at least a couple hours or so, she makes this many in such a short time. Man, she really is a prodigy. As soon after Izuku begins working on his on his support items again, with both Shoto, Kaminari, and Kirishima arrive. With Ochako also coming because she wanted to see what Izuku has made. As they soon come through the support course. As Izu soon after Power Loader comes through and says, Ah, looks like you looks like looks like you guys came pretty early. Hey, Midoriya, your friends are here. As Izuku is still working on a couple of his support items and decides and before you know it, he's already done. Soon after he sees his friends and his girlfriend and says, Hey guys, you guys I'm surprised you got here pretty early. I just finished up a couple of the prototypes. As Kirishima asks, so what is these support items you want us to test? As he soon shows them as one being a giant one being a giant great sword with an engine on the as the guard the other being a uh, twin daggers with engines on them the other being a spear with an en being where an engine is near the top and the other one being an engine being an engine blade which is for Izuku, as they realize, what are these? They're engine weapons. They tie to, originally I wanted to make a sword that kind of like fits my personality and allows me to use my quirk in a more efficient way, but I got a little bit carried away and made all these other engine weapons in the process. And they actually work with different quirk types in a way. As he's as Shoto as different quirk types, like which ones? As he shows that both the well engine greatsword and the engine and the engine spear are able to are work well with people with transformative quirks, that it's able to adapt and increase their strength in a way. As Izuku tosses gives well, Kirishima, the great, the great sword, as Kirishima soon realized that this thing is heavy as hell, as he's wondering, how the hell did you were able to carry this with just one hand? As he's saying, wait, you can't? As he says, no! What? It, huh. Guess it's just a tie to my quirk. But, at any rate, if you think you can handle, just press the button that's nearing the top. Once the engine starts revving, and then start using your quirk in the process. As he's saying, alright, like this. And soon after, the engine begins to start running. And then, he's, and then Kirishima activates his quirk. Soon after, the sword, the engine sword begins to become a lot more, began becoming more spiky, and a lot much more durable than, heavier than it was before as he's saying damn this thing is a lot more heavier than it was before when I activated my quirk I saying like I said it able it's able to transfer transfer transform quirks through it because your quirk is hardening it made the sword a lot more spikier and a lot more heavier than it normally would be not only that I bet it's way much more indestructible than it would be now is Kirish but if you feel like you can't use it and says nah I got this as saying if I don't use this I feel like less of a man if I don't Izuku I vow to you to fit to become strong enough to wield this sword I swear it as Izuku saying nice soon after Izuku gave well Shoto uh, some some daggers being with engines on them as he's saying here Shoto 
even though that you're working on your new technique, I still figured you would still need something for close range combat until you get the hang of it. As he soon says, so you're giving me these daxy swords. They're actually daggers, dude. They're shorter than a sword. As saying, right. These are able these work well with emitter type quirks. Your blade once the the emitter ability basically flows around flows around the blade. But it mostly works well with emitter type quirks that conduct their own type of ener their own type of energy like probably electricity or fire or ice and stuff like that. As she soon test them out. As Shoto flips the switch, the engines begin running, and soon after he generates one fire through one and ice through the other. As he thinks, this is quite something else. As saying, I know, right? It took me a while to get this get these ready, especially since they're linked together. If they're far apart, then they stop working. It's the only it's the only thing I haven't been able to kink out. As he Ow, that's pretty well done, Midoriya. That's pretty awesome in a way. Thank you, my friend. As Izuki saying, no problem, man. Just start to get a just get a hang of yourself. Just I figure you would need to work more on close quarters combat anyway. Once you get the hang of your secret weapon. As he winks. As soon after Ochako feels like she's being left out of the dark of something. Soon after, Kaminari begins giddying, saying, So, did you get something for me? As he looks at... As Izuki saying, Oh yeah, that reminds me. I got nothing for you, Denki. As he soon... As that smile begins fading into a frown of disappointment. As saying, What? But you got a giant sword for Ijiro and also... And two, and two daggers for, for Shoto. What about me? What about the spear? As saying, yeah, that spear works more for tra transform quirks like com like Kirishima, remember? As he says, but I did ask somebody if they had a support item for you that will help me out until I gave you your proper I your proper support gear. As saying, really? Is yeah. Soon after he calls, hey Hatsume, think you can you can come out now. As she, as he calls out her name, and soon after she appears right behind Kaminari, El Jaco, and Kir and Izuku, saying, "Right here!" As they begin freaking out, saying, "Jesus Christ, you pop out of nowhere!" As she, as right now she has a, a disc gauntlet, with, and soon after a vi with a visor as well, and gives them to Kaminari, saying, "What's this?" These will allow you to fire discs that are that can shoot that can shoot anything that you want, any materials. If you feel like sh using your electric using your electricity without frying your brain, as Midoriya said, as saying, "Dude, hey, had to be honest." At there, he soon puts it on and realizes, "Huh, you know, now that I put it on, it actually looks pretty cool on me." What do you guys think? As Kirishima says, yeah, man, you look pretty manly with it. As Shoto just gives out a thumbs up. As he's saying, just try it out. As soon after, he soon fires a disc and connects his like tr and it soon invents into the wall. As Izuki saying, now use your electricity, but don't go over your watt limit, okay? As saying, got it. And soon points his finger, and there, the disc begin. His electricity begins conducting through the through the disc, as he realizes, "Whoa, that's awesome!" As real, you can connect. Depending on who's in front of you, you can even you can even use it as a chain attack, attack multiple people without having to. Well, you know, just sign the just sign the paperwork, and you'll be able to use it in your costumes. As all three of them saying, thanks Midoriya, I really appreciate it. You're, really, you're awesome dude. As he soon laughs saying, oh come on guys, you're being too honest. 
as soon after Ochako was wondering, hey, Izuku, did you get, make something for me? As Izuku, well, decided, didn't really do anything for Ochako, but he did promise to give her something when she wanted to. When it was the proper time, though, but decided to give it to her now. As his weapons soon appear, and he brings out the Trident of the Oracle. And saying, this was originally yours, if I recall, in your past life. As he whispered this in her ear, without, well, Kirishima, Kaminari, and Shoto hearing this. As she soon touches it, more memories begin to fly into her again. This time, memories of her childhood and memories of Luna's brother, Ravis, her brother of her past life. As she realized, I can't believe I've forgotten so much. You know, even though I won't be able to see them, this is the greatest gift I could ask for. Thank you, Izuku. As she soon kisses Izuku, and Izuku kisses her back. With the, with, well, Kaminari saying, come on guys, you think you can get a room at least? After that, they begin laughing, saying sorry. At, soon after, the day ends, with the three of them signing for the proper paperwork, and Izuku giving the Trident of the Oracle to Ochako permanently. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Sorry if this video didn't have a lot of action into it. I just had to give a lot of details about the certain other support items that, well, the guys would be using after all. And hope, please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Leon Moki signing out. Later.